What's happening, everybody? It's me, your resident supervillain, Mr. J. Washington, and I'm here with my reaction for the first trailer for Warner Brothers Pictures, Birds of Prey, and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. Yeah, you have to say all of that. Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. I feel like they're going to name it this long-ass name. I'm going to say this long-ass name. So, like, I'm going to go to ticket box offices at the movie theater on purpose. But, like, yeah, can I get uh, one ticket for Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn? They be like, one for Birds of Prey? I'm like, no, one for Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. I feel like saying that name on repeat so many times, you will conjure up a spell. It's kind of like if you say Cardi B's real name along with Offset's real name and a couple of chicks off Love and Hip Hop, like you make some Harry Potter shit happen. Nonetheless, I've heard, they, we all heard they've done the reshoots. Supposedly in the third act, just to amp up the action. They got the original director from John Wick to do this, so that brings some hopes. But I've also heard some things on the back end, on the production side, from people who've worked on the film, and it's got me a little bit skeptical. But nonetheless, this ain't the whole movie that drops in February. But I'm going to check out what this trailer does, and hopefully it amps me up. So I'm going to watch it with y'all. Y'all going to watch it with me. We're going to see what happens in three, two, one. Now. You know what a Harlequin is? A Harlequin's role is to serve. It's nothing without a master. No one gives two shits who we are beyond that. The Joker and I broke up. We established that shit real quick. Start. But it turns out I wasn't the only Damon Gotham looking for emancipation. This queen, she loves me. Oh, Who are you guys? Here's the deal, queen. You need me. All right, so where do I go first with this? Um, I'm gonna say something I hope I never would have had to say, but god damn it, I feel like watching this trailer makes me say it. I got Suicide Squad vibes like a motherfucker. Oh, and that is not good. I, I get the story is about Harley, and, and like like we found out, her and the Joker break up. Okay, so clearly we're going to see what the aftermath was of Suicide Squad when he picks her up off the roof and, the hell, I mean, breaks out of jail at the end. But I think this is going to try way too hard. Um, I wasn't a major fan of Harley Quinn and the Suicide Squad. Because I felt like Margot Robbie hadn't embodied what we wanted her to be as crazy. Like, it wasn't just there yet. Now, that, that isn't saying that she probably hasn't fully gotten there in this film. Don't get me wrong. But I just feel like... Ah, uh, I don't... Man, I'm skeptical. I'm real skeptical. I mean, I see all the action. I see the shots. I'm skeptical. Also, piss the hell off that Ewan McGregor is Black Mask and he does not have a Black Mask. What in all of the... Somebody want to explain that? Because that makes zero sense to me. You play... You you cast 
this amazing actor to be this legendary character. And I get it. I get it. It's Ewan McGregor. So you're like, yo, we're going to show Ewan McGregor's face. We're not going to cover his face up. Then don't do, do not do this thing where he's looking like regular Ewan McGregor until the end of the damn movie. Then something happens. He puts on a mask because you know they'll change origins and make different iterations of it. So I kind of that I just wanted to see Black Mask on screen. Like I didn't want to see just a gangster. I don't want to have an accident befall him and then all of a sudden we get this at the end of the fucking movie. I just don't want that. Um. I like she has her hyena. I just want to know where this got them, but where do you go to get a hyena that's just sitting up in the kettle? Like, hey man, we got these puppies. We got a couple cockatoos. You might want a ferret, or if that's not just me, uh, back here got this dirt ass hyena. Now he ain't took a bath in like six weeks, but he laughs his ass. He laughs his ass off. So you might want him. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, again, February twenty twenty is when this movie drops. I think. I, I fully have to wait to make an informed opinion then. And it, it's crazy because I don't want to make ever make a fully informed opinion. I don't. But because of the the history of where this character in this film comes from, what it's based upon, it's easy to have an expectation. It's easy to, you know, feel like, oh, this may be this, it might be that, it's not going to be good. You know, it's easy to have those things. But nonetheless, we're going to find out. More trailers are going to drop, of course. We're going to get a million and nine trailers. We're going to get TV spots and everything. And I hope, I'm hoping and praying that we can't piece the movie together, what exactly it is, throughout all that. I'm hoping to God. Because we know, again, Black Mask is chasing all the birds of prey. So you did see Mary Elizabeth Warren State. You saw Journey Smollett. You saw Rosie Perez. You see all of them together. You see L LJ Bosco. All of them come together. So we will see. We will see, all right? But I want to know what your thoughts are in the comments below. So go ahead and like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell first and foremost, all right? Make sure you engage this video. Give me the boost in the algorithm. But let me know what your thoughts are about this trailer. Are you excited for it? Are you kind of hesitant for it? Are you like, no, I just don't want to see it? Let me know your thoughts, okay? Your thoughts. And don't just go off of, well, I, I heard the name and I didn't want to see it off that. Like, if you saw the, you got to watch the trailer, just make that opinion to be going to go forth, all right? Do that for me. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. J. Washington. M-R-J-A-Y. You should know how to spell Washington, right? I mean, you really should. Make sure you're joining my Supervillain Squad on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Mr. J. Washington. Uh, I've got a bunch of new stuff coming up, and I'm doing a bunch of giveaways. So I got copies of Season 1 of Mayans from FX on Blu-ray DVD. Uh, Mindhunter. This is Us. You can get Child's Play. Uh... Dark Phoenix, if you want to torture yourself, and other things. But I'm doing those giveaways through my Patreon. And I might do a couple through Twitter. Who knows, all right? Make sure also you check out the Mad Titan podcast where I get you caught up on everything that's happening in the Marvel and DC live action and cinematic universes. It is Barbershop Talk for Nerds. Come on in the convo, all right? I'll holler at y'all later. Stay tuned to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here.